Okay, so Crimson Land then. You can only play it full screen. Whatever, okay. So it looks like they actually added an objective mode. Survival's kind of the classic, just last as long as you can thing. Alright. So it's depending on what you feel like. I don't know if you just prefer... Now, Andy, you said that this was like the original zombie game before like every other game on Steam was a zombie game? This was the first video game to ever have zombies in it. Oh. Uh. First one ever. Wow. Controls are very odd on it, you know what I mean? You feel kind of floaty. Oh my god. Are you on, you're on gamepad or mouse and keyboard? Gamepad. No, but like, if I head left, for example, like, alright, I'm heading left, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna change direction to right. Do you notice how my character turned a little? Oh, yeah, yeah. It oh. takes some getting used to. Gotcha. I thought that's a cup size. <laughs> Maybe it does. Whoa, now. Alright, quest two, minor alien breach. Oh, these are aliens, then. Well... Alien zombies Actually, will compromise, how's that? The original one didn't have aliens, I think. Gotcha. Yeah, Shad Hog, this game was actually made before the, I made a game with zombies in it. Boy, that was a long time ago, too. This was like 2005, 2006, if I recall. So this is like Crimson Land, the new package or whatever, where like... Yeah. This the is new batch. Nothing. Right. Well, that's what I'd call it. Can I, bring some, can I bring up something unrelated while I'm killing these zombies? Sure, go ahead. Well, it's my stream, so yeah, I can. Um, do you read Jim Sterling's review of Alone in the Dark? I haven't read the review. I saw him play it. He made one of the Let's Play videos, and it looks awful. Yeah, I, I haven't watched him play it. I read his review of it, and it was really brutal. I'm it kind of is, interested now. It's kind of like... But, well, it's Atari. It's Atari being Atari right now, and it, they're really kind of just shitting all over... You know, a classic franchise. Uh -huh. Now, this this is Alone in the Dark being the new Alone in the Dark and not the old one, right? Uh, I I don't know. I don't so, know. I mean, like your, the original one wasn't great, but it did kind of innovate a lot of the concepts we see in survival horror games now. As the new one had that guy that said, fuck your stone, I don't have it anyways. Basically, the new one has almost nothing going for it. Like, it, it tries to be scary, and it's not. And, like, all the weapons, they're really unsatisfying to use. All the enemies are just kind of floppy, eldritch meat. That just, you know, you'll kill them, and they just flop over like a ragdoll. Nice, I also wanted to shoot a stake with a ragdoll. Yeah. I always thought the whole trick with the eldritch stuff, though, is supposed to be, like, really scary because of how unfathomable it is. Isn't that... Fathom. Yeah, Unfathom I think the problem is a lot of games like to show and not... Well, they like to tell and show as opposed to just letting you imagine it. Right. Like in the game, the enemies that I saw, they were all just like monsters that glow when they enter the light. Wait, wait. I don't want to do that. Quest. Go to land hostile. I want to do frontline assault. This is going to be very different from the previous stages. Oh, I yeah, we got a road there's, and a manhole. I noticed there's also there's like press fire to join, so you can actually do a multi co local co-op. Yeah. Yes. This is kind of all Crimson Land is, huh? Yeah. The problem is like quest mode. I think segments it so that instead of just going through and having everything ramp up. It just oh. compartmentalizes everything into little bite-sized missions. Oh. Should I be doing that mode? Honestly, I think I think I would rather prefer survival mode if I was playing this game. Alright. Just because, like, the... It, it gets pretty crazy later on. Let's see. Yeah, if you play mission mode, it never gets that chance. I'm sure it does, but you have to go through all the earlier stuff beforehand. 
it was kind of that same issue that Bullet Candy had where you're just waiting for something exciting to actually happen. I see. Alright. Let's go to survival mode then after this, I guess. Right. I hope you don't have to unlock these in survival, because if you do, that would be really lame. I don't want to go to Alien Den. There we go. You know what? Shadhog put it exactly right. It's basically a Left 4 Dead clone. What is? Um, the oh. the new Alone in the Dark horror. There's a single player mode, right? Right, there is a single player, but there. I think it's one of those games that's leaning on multiplayer co-op. What the fuck? <laughs> Gee, I wonder if these scores are hacked at all. Anyway, um... So these are zombies? Zombies, spiders, there's aliens now, apparently. Alright, submachine guns, you know. I don't like bugs, I'm just saying. You got a chance to kill them. Alright, so I got submachine gun. That's pretty good. So I see, now I just have any, like, weapon I want from the pool, more or less. As opposed to, I, like, unlocking them in single player. I think that's how it works. <coughs> Damn, this is actually getting a little crowded here. And then there's a ton more power-ups as well, like you get the nuke, which I think is a full-screen kill. Mm, it's, uh, it's, it's a big quite. kill. Yeah. It's a big cluster bomb kind of thing. I don't, see added some new stuff. I don't see any zombies. I don't see any zombies. Are you sure these guys aren't zombies? I'm pretty sure. They don't look human from this like weird top to over down. Am I supposed to kill that thing on the Yeah, anything that looks like a building will probably spawn enemies. Yeah, it's spawning the fast ones too. Wow, this is like fucked up gauntlet actually. Also, you definitely want to grab all the power-up icons. Oh, cool. Wait. Um, oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, and then there's perks and stuff you unlock as well. Laser sight. I do like laser sight, but I think random weapon sounds good. What do you think? I would go with random weapon. Done. Not that random, it's a. There we go. Shockwave. Uh. Damn, this is getting really crowded now. Something feels very weird with the, uh. with the controls in the game, I will say that. Hmm. Like, whenever I turn, it, like, goes circular, uh, eagle eyes. Hmm, that could be good, actually. Telekinetic. Alright, no, yeah, the thin air sounds the best. The best that, one. that could actually be nice. Oh, I see. Yeah, the... this, this game seems like it has the chance to get pretty crazy if you go yeah. on for long enough. It No, it really does. I pl When I played this a while back, it definitely got pretty insane. Try one more time. It was it's more fun in survival, yeah. Yeah. Like it's not a deep game by any means, but it is a fun game just to play for like 20, 30 minutes. Yeah. You mean you're not drawn by the rich story? Story. Is it crimson because it's blood? I get it, game. <sighs> Happy Who's E3. the real monster? Why would you give me back a regular gun? That's terrible. Um, there we go. Oh, my controls stopped working. Good. I brought down my other controller just to like use that instead, but then I never mind. Well, it's a long, boring story. Who gives a shit? Nobody. All we care about is Crimson Land. Actually, not even that. 
Yeah, alright. Crimson Land's alright. Not too shabby, I guess. 